Okay, hi guys. All right, so we are back with um, December. Remember, we're going to do our day one. Oh, I should have got the book. should have grabbed the book. Here's my book. This is not how it's going to stay, but we're working in binders. So this is the piece we've made so far. Our little door that opens up to our little fairy flower garden. I don't know where this is going to stay. This is little Eppie's surprise. Um, well, I was going to show you. <laughs> I'm so not prepared today because I didn't think today was happening. So here's little Effie hiding out in the corner. This is off from Louisa's freebie. This is December Ember 2023 with Louisa Hensel and Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. We are doing, oh, I just spilled all of my, oh, I just made a mess in the corner. Wow, we just started and I already made a mess, guys. Today is our prompt day and I had my prompts and I moved my prompts. So there you have it. I thought they were in the book, guys. They're supposed to be in the book. And, but I took some of the pages out of the book trying to get organized because it was too full. And apparently when I took the pages out, I took the prompts out too, <laughs> as per usual. And I printed out, Louisa and Barbara both have a whole kit. And I printed out Louisa's kit and my computer, nope, printer, is being crazy again. So her beautiful, beautiful pages came out just bad. So I don't know. Here it is. Here's the prompt page, though. I don't know what to do about the printer. I'm going to use the pages because I think I can make most of them work. But... I got it kind of working again. It's just random. Sometimes it's working perfect and other times it's giving me lines. So I don't know what to do with it. But today, anyway, this is the German one. This is the German prompt list because I wanted both because that's how I am. Okay, here's the American version because I cannot read the other one. Is today's the fourth? Yeah, it's already the fourth. A butterfly and three torn things. I have to tell you, the three torn things is kind of breaking my brain a little bit. A little bit, guys. So, um, Louisa gave us this freebie on her page. And she gave us a butterfly, a beautiful door, and a little bit of epi. And Barbara gave a freebie, too. And I printed them both. Barbara says, just a minute. On the opposite desk. Of course it is on the opposite desk. This is her butterfly. It's gorgeous. I printed it black and white. Hers is not black and white. It's, it's beautiful brown sepia colors. But I printed it black and white. See the lines? See these random lines? Now I printed both of these this morning and this one came out perfect. Perfect. Back to back I printed them. And this one came out with lines. I I have no idea what my printer is doing. And I can't figure it out and it's frustrating. So I have pages and pages of stuff and just, I'm going with it for now. Cause man, I'm wasting a lot of ink. Um, so today's a butterfly and three torn things. So we are gonna work off of Louise's butterflies. That's why I was showing you this one first. We're working off vaguely off this butterfly. And I have transferred the butterfly here. Here's my butterfly. That's why I said vaguely. This is a piece of contact paper. This is something I do a lot, but I haven't showed you guys yet. So, well, no, I don't do this a lot. This is first <laughs> and may not work, but I transfer a lot. I should have said, I've never done this technique that we're trying today. So we're going to try it together. First, I'm going to cut this down or it's going to get in our way. We're going to try this together and either it will work or it will not. And either way, you're going to see it because 
I want you to see, you know, what fails too. And then we'll all know what not to do together. Like, don't lose your scissors before you start a video, Patty, or you will have to use your craft knife. Thank you. It is absolutely been that kind of day. I genuinely thought I would not. I've been up since five, and it is now. And now my husband's texting, of course. Now it is three o'clock, and I genuinely did not think I was going to get a video done. So I was really starting to stress. And I have to leave and get Samuel to karate. So, um,. At five, so I was like, get it done or it's never gonna get done. So we are gonna do our butterfly and then I wanna play with napkins. So we're gonna set the butterfly aside. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna attempt to put napkins on here, which is in theory, a non-stick surface. That's what it says, that's what it says, you guys. So, oh wait, you know what I was gonna do though. I was gonna cut this more than this. That's what I was gonna do. Wait, wait, where'd the... So I have this really bad habit of sticking things behind me. I didn't that time, I stuck it in front of me. I have a chair right behind me where I'm standing. After Christmas, we're going to redo this room. I know I keep saying that. And then after Christmas, I'll probably say after my birthday watch, because you know, <laughs> We're gonna have procrastinating. I just wanted to see the lines better so I knew how far we had to go and so I can get a variety to see if this is even gonna work. Also, I'm not gonna waste these. I have another idea that we're gonna explore with us. Yep, because one idea feeds another idea. Okay, so I have napkins. I have napkins and napkins and napkins. So I thought, and I should have did this before we started, but I did not. I thought we could tear some napkins, guys. And I have you guys really close because I wanted you to see the detail. We're moving that though. And I really, really should have did this ahead of time. So sorry about that, but now you guys are gonna have to pull napkins apart with me. Well, if we can get them apart, there we go. So yesterday, after I turned off the cameras, I thought I could, what did we work on? Something, I don't know. I don't know what I did yesterday, genuinely. We worked on the cottage, the, the little house that unexpectedly turned a little steampunkish on us um, for December Ember. No, no, that's what we're doing today. Um, and then I did something, I don't know, but I cut my thumb. So flowers, so we're gonna rip these. So this is part of the, the rip, the torn things, the three torn things. So, perhaps, perhaps. I know this is the worst part, but I should just use tape, I know, but I'm trying to save the underside because we can stamp on it. And those I don't stamp with, I wind up dyeing or coloring or using as cleanup sheets. Okay, so. I should have prepped this, but and then I have, so I have those, and then I have these, which I have no idea where they came from, but in the spirit of the ladies who are putting this on, I believe these two are Tim Holtz pieces of paper. They they seem Tim Holtz-ish to me, and so I thought that went quite well with, with them because anybody who watches their channels knows that um, Louisa is a very, very big fan of Tim Holtz, who 
you would think I could manage to track down and get an autograph from, being that I live two hours from him, but no, nope, still haven't managed that one. I keep asking friends of friends if they know him. <laughs> That's quite hilarious. No, so far, either my friends don't know him or they're not admitting it to the crazy stalker girl. So, you know, one of the two. But genuinely, if I could find him, I would get his autograph. Though she probably has it for, by now because she's on his design team now. So I would imagine she has secured it. It's just the principle of the thing because I have been trying all summer long to find somebody who may know him who could possibly find an autograph because I was going to send it to Louisa so that she had one. And then that was before she was on this design team, of course. But so the thought here was to just, this would work really well with my jelly prints too. But see, we have torn things. Oh, we're gonna have more torn things than we need. But this hurts a little bit to tear this up. This feels like tearing up precious paper, but I keep hoarding things. And this, I'm not 100% sure this is his, but I feel like it probably is because it looks an awful lot like, oh, ouch. That's my heart, just a little bit. Okay. So I have to stop hoarding. Stop hoarding your goodies. I have so many pieces of napkins in this drawer, so like any sane person would do, when I was in the store today, I bought more napkins. I'm telling you what, I don't do Christmas and now I'm suddenly becoming obsessed. So I'm going to try. I have, I have glue, you know, Mod Podge and such, but I'm going to try to kind of use craft glue, like glue glue. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. We're just going to try to do it this way because this isn't our end game. So I'm thinking, I'm wondering if we can. Okay, I'm putting it down. Am I? Is that what I'm doing? Um, maybe. Oh, but I want it to be really wet, don't I? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So when I guess, I guess I probably should have used the craft glue, but that's okay. Cause see, I'm going to, I'll get it wet anyway. Okay. That's what we're going to do. I'm thinking it through because I have no real clue what I'm doing here. So the beauty is, is that the glue, of course, is wet. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to come off this mat. <clears throat> or, or it's not. And we're all going to just laugh at this. So is this the right way? I think I should have, um, should have turned them the other way. Nope, I got them the wrong way. So that's gonna make me crazy. Okay, hang on, hang on. We gotta turn them the other way. Can I Can I pick it up? Oh, shoot. Yes, okay, okay. I need the words up, up facing us. I think. If not, it's gonna be a really, really confused and awkward. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter because the butterfly can go either way, right? So, oh, okay, hang on because we definitely need it smoother than that though. So these stars um, are metallic, so they actually have texture because that is actually uh, wrapping paper. No, you know, the, the pretty paper that you, the foo-foo paper. Oh, okay, that piece is not gonna be good. Let's set that to the side and we'll put a new one on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a mess. That is okay. We got nothing better to do at the moment. We got two hours of nothingness. Well, not with the, okay. So I'm obviously going to be very he heavy-handed here. Okay. This is that um, gessoy stuff that I said is not really gessoy. So I didn't know if we could use it as a glue or if it was gonna. Oh no, that's gonna saturate our colors way too much, isn't it? I was kind of hoping it would knock back a little bit, like of this color but I do have just plain glue <clears throat> excuse me um 
<laughs> we're going to just keep going because we're definitely in no man's land here. So I wanted everything to still be a little bit see-through. Not even a little, but you know, all the way was my thought. Um, and then, do you know what I did? I jumped right into this. I was so excited to get going that I didn't measure. I didn't measure how far we needed to put the. Uh, um, I meant to measure our little dude here and just make, oh, don't put it all the way down. Hang on. Tick marks, you know, like tick, 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 tick. Good enough. Like tick, tick, because this will wash back off. Tick, tick, somewhere in there. Something like that. Okay. Close enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what that is. I'm so sorry. All right, do do regular glue because I don't think I don't think I want to go that white. So normally, when I try to make things white with that, it does nothing. So of course, when I want it to be clear, <laughs> it's not. Okay, so we might want to grab more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling here as we go. I am not gentle, which I kind of knew that going in, that I would not be overly gentle. So I got a super soft brush, and I was going to start with a uh, sponge brush, and it's on this table. I sat it down. I did, but uh, I don't know what I did with it. So I'm already doubting whether or not we're going to be able to lift this up immediately or if we're going to have to set it aside and let it dry, which is a bummer because I don't stop videos. I don't stop and start. So I feel like we need some more color and stuff. So right beside me is a drawer full of tissues and tissue paper and napkins. And the tissue paper, as you can see, does not go as clear as the napkin, which doesn't thrill me. No, not that one, not that one, Patty. The rinse water is just up above the camera, up there, up there in the corner. So, just wanna. Yeah, this morning was a run around kind of crazy morning. I went to find, um, anti-fatigue mats at the store figuring you know how during the holidays Walmart really ramps up their supply of um, exercise equipment like they really pull out all the stops of what they have in store so I figured well they'll have all the mats that go underneath the gym equipment and which I buy there all the time. So of course today, nothing, none. They have it all moved out because they have the equipment that you actually need the mats to go under in store <laughs> and no mats. You know what, some paper might've been cool in here too. Just, you know, regular um, like music notes might've been cool, but um, I could have stamped those on some tissue paper. Some of my gel prints might look really cool in here. It might be a thing. If my printer wasn't acting so wonky, I would have printed a couple of the sheets from um, Louisa's kit onto um, tracing paper, and then that would have looked most excellent in here. I'd like to put some some gold or something in here and I just wanted to go off the bits and pieces of what I have but um I don't seem to have a lot of gold I have flowers I know no big surprise that I have flowers but even those are not overly because it's they're not that they're not that saturated well I'm not finishing sentences am I they're not 
overly saturated in color because um, they're like springy type napkins, I think. Because I didn't go all out in napkins when I started buying them because you get so many in one and then I never used a whole lot. And I had hoped to do napkin exchanges, but the few times I tried to do a napkin exchange, what I got in place of mine were not exactly napkins I would use. So I um, don't like that piece there. Hang on. Hang on. They were um, funny, like sarcastic, but I don't do sarcasm much in my work, so, um, you know, for for art, they weren't, they'd be good, I guess, in background pieces, probably, but uh, not my, I don't know, not, not something I lean towards, so they never really made it into anything, and I um, had actually just decided I was probably going to pull them out and use them as actual napkin napkins because yeah everything I have is like a flower you guys I'm looking sorry or or it's like purple pink 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 flower which is not terrible but um not what I was thinking of either so I wanted more of I was, I'm feeling more brown and grungy. I know you can't tell because, well, because everything I do is pink. <laughs> I think so, you know, it looks like my work because that's what color schemes I own. But I think I have... I don't know if we can paint. Can you paint over wet? Well, I don't know why you couldn't. So let me grab. Let me grab a couple of. Let me see if we can make a mess. Well, more of a mess. I think I still have to go up higher because I'm not quite at my tick lines yet. And I don't want to obliterate it. I just want to uh, kind of, we're going to have to dry it anyway. So I'm sorry guys, but we're going to have to use the dryer. Wow. I feel like, see, I was trying to not do my mixed media on camera because I know I use the dryer a lot because I'm too impatient to just let things dry. But, um, because then I know you guys have to turn your volume down or listen to a dryer. But it's just how it's kind of working out. The problem is, is if I, if I plan too much and I don't just do what it's feeling like I'm supposed to do, then I'll lose my momentum and then I won't be able to do anything because that's like the killer of creativity is ignoring your impulse. Like, I know that today I feel like doing a little bit of brown, which is random because that was not my intention. But then again, I didn't intend to do steampunk yesterday. So, you know, I'll look at the cool little car. Look, there's a little cool little car right here. And the thing is, is, I mean, I have some greens in here, so it won't be the worst thing in the world. So, mm -hmm. come over here where I have some, I already have some color going. I'm just wondering if I get it even wetter than that, even wetter than that. So 
so I can't exactly drag it because it's wet. I do love this color though. So it's not exactly a hardship, which is weird because orange is one of my least favorite colors. If I have a least. I mean, I don't exactly have a least, but like I don't really work in orange. So see here, I'm going to be using this to dab up after all. See? And then I'll lay this flat and then this will have colors too. See? Alrighty. But it won't go to waste because that will get turned into more fodder. We'll have flotsam and jetsam everywhere. So, we will see. We will see what we see, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to come together. I'm not going to lie. Mm, that's not going to work. We're going to have stuff everywhere. All because Patty feels a little brown today. I don't know. I do like the copper with the pink, though. Sorry, I'm looking for a cap. Because this is too precious to waste. And now it's on my fingers. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody really should clean her caps. I may have to break down and clean this one because it might not go back on. I think the pool guy might be here. I see a lot of reflections coming off my pool. Which is great because that means he's cleaning it and I'll be able to do my cold plunge later. Okay, I will clean that later. We don't have time for that right now. I'm just, uh, if I can get it. That was a lot. That was a lot. So, I was hoping my nails... We're going to hold up until after this weekend because Samuel has his friend's quinceanera that we are all going to, but they did not. So I'm going to have to take a day and, oh, well, that piece is getting used now. Did you see that? Did you see what I just did? I meant to set it aside and dumped it right in that white. Okay. I mean, I guess one piece is as good as another, but jeesh, Patty. Oh, that was a lot of white. That was unexpected. Okay. <clears throat> unexpected. Nice. Nice, nice. Not mad at it. Just unexpected. Oh, these little pops of black are definitely helping, aren't they? Mm, what are we thinking? So, I have a stamp over here at the side that I was planning to use to put some black in, but maybe we won't need to, huh? Maybe we'll accomplish it this way. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Just... Just lay down nicely. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. So, you can't really see. That was so faded, but it was supposed to be. I mean, it was faded before I got to it. So, I'm not taking responsibility for that one. No, no, no. Certainly I'm not. But, uh, it was, um, a really old map, I believe. Is what it was supposed to be. So I broke down while I was in the store, you guys, and I bought, I said I wasn't gonna, but I bought some more white glitter. My mother would be having a heart attack right now. I just went through and downsized all, my whole glitter until everything fit into one little bitty, little bitty drawer. And uh, then I donated all the rest. And then, <laughs> and then um, I started doing all these Christmas projects and which, who knew that would ever happen, and um, started, you know, I love glitter, but I never use glitter anymore, and so then I started tossing glitter on everything, because, you know, 
it does lend itself right to the season and um the more is more of it all and uh I used the first thing I did was use all the white glitter and so I was like well I'll just buy one and then my reasoning is well I'll probably use the whole thing before I'm done playing because I'm doing this so I can see a lot of glitter happening see there's a bubble under this one here can you see this one here I know it looks crazy I get it I get it guys hang there with me hang in there I have an idea. No, my ideas don't always work, obviously. A great many don't always work. But, but, just hang there with me. Have a little faith. I think we can do it. I think it can. I think it can work. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't work, in theory. In my mind, it's going to work. I don't know why, but because I was dreaming about it last night, so... You know, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. And yep, I'm, I'm painting the car. I don't know why I'm painting the car. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, glitter. Yeah, glitter. Yeah, so my thought is, is by the time I'm done playing with this um, Christmassy stuff, this winter, winter stuff, I should say, I can see me putting lots of snow-capped-ish looking stuff um, all over. Because, you know, I bought a lot of stuff that's got blues and hues of blues and whites and cold. And I'm missing the cold. I told um, that handsome hubby of mine that I really am jonesing for some snow. Like, I'm missing the snow. I'm really missing the snow. But the beauty of that is, unlike when we were home in Michigan, we just take our little butts up the mountain and get my snow fix, you know, for 10 minutes, as you do. And we just bring ourselves back down to the sunshine on the desert floor, you know, back down in the basin, as it were, and be done with that. Because that's about all it takes. I would like to wake up to a snow, snowy Christmas, so it's very hard to get in the Christmas season here. Do you guys find that if you've lived in um, snow country and then you come to a warm non-snow country, like I'm in Arizona, obviously, and Florida and such, do you guys find it hard to get in the spirit? I'm wondering because I like I have some friends that are like from the Dakotas and Colorado and I gotta ask them like how the heck because I I've been here almost 15 years now and I'm still like oh doesn't feel like Christmas to me okay so you almost can't tell it was napkins huh pretty sure my December daily today is probably going to have a whole lot of napkins in it because, huh, look, there's an elephant on this one. How cool is that? Ain't he cute? Now I'm painting an elephant. Okay, well, because I kind of just want to stick him right there. I don't know if he's going to make the cut or not, but I kind of just want him to be there. If not, I'll find something else to put that piece on. Okay, because elephants make me think of my mama who should be with me right now, but she is not. Because she is still in Michigan, probably freezing her fanny. So I feel like now I got too much wool. So that means, oh, that means we're doing things I was not planning on. So, so now we have out, I really should have my apron on. So I guess now I'm going to do some splatters of the colors that were originally in here because I still wanted those colors that were in these stars and my butterflies. And I would cut some of the stars out, but frankly, I'm too lazy. Of course, I still want to stamp, so maybe. Maybe. I was hoping I really overdid the color. We might have to put a few more pieces on. 
If it wasn't so wet, I would think I could pick part of that color back up. But I'm pretty sure if I try, I'm just going to pick up the whole thing right off the mat. And I know it's looking crazy. I know it is. But hang on. Hang on, hang on. We gotta go through the crazy to get to the end. We'll get there. We'll get there, we'll get there. And now of course I have a friend running around the the states. So I wonder if she's done a cold weather climate for Christmas yet, for the Christmas season. You'd think I'd know this since I follow her journey, but I have to think about that one. I'm gonna ask her to get a hold of her tonight. Be like, hey. Oh, I decided I want this to show up right here. I don't know, so we're just gonna... I lost this flower, so now I'm making it one of my roses. My quick style rose. Because I want a rose. Well, you know, do do do. Slam over here. There. Good enough. How's it looking? I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Do do. Is it looking okay, guys? No, it probably looks crazy, huh? You're probably like, no, no, it does not, Patty. It will. It will. It will. I promise. Well, I should not promise yet, huh? What color is this? Shake well. I have no idea. Oh, okay. It's a goldy black. Oh, we probably don't need any more gold on there. That's too much. Too much. Too oh, don't put your fingers in it. You're supposed to be staying clean for the quinceanera. Oh, too late. Well, that's why we have rubbing alcohol. Oh, I'm such a mess. Okay. Okay. Push that aside. Okay. Slap down a couple more pieces and then we will dry. So. And then we'll dry it up and then we will see if the next part works. We really need some dark. I know. So I'm going to, we need some dark, guys. So I'm going to instantly lay some more bright on. Because, you know, I often listen to myself. <laughs> yep, that's how we do. So now, now we'll put some baby pink in. We'll see if that helps with the dark, Patty. Let's see how that works out for you. Oh, this is great because this is so wet. It's just laying in there. Oh. Yeah, we definitely couldn't lift this at the moment because, oh, we would have just a splurge fest. Although, I like all these speckles. Must must admit, it is kind of what I was thinking of, except more because it needs black speckles. But I don't think I have. I do have black paint, though. Where's my black paint? Oh, I do have black paint, guys. I think it's paint. It's been a minute since I did it. It could be, um, I'm looking for a fan brush, which of course I don't know where it is because I only have 40 of them. No, that's watercolor. Don't use the watercolor brushes, you'll regret it. We will not be doing that. That, that part would break my heart. If I used my watercolor brushes, that would, that would, that would make me sad. And this is a ruby satin, so you have to wonder why it is in that drawer. It should not be. And it's kinked. Look at that. Now I have to put it in boiling hot water. Fix it. Okay, this has something in here. So what is it? What is that? Oh, okay. No, this is ink. Because those are ink nibs. So, this is black ink. 
So I am standing way back. Because I like this shirt. Oh, but it just got my arms. Are we getting anywhere? Probably somewhere. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to be good with that. Because... I don't want to dye this shirt, although it is a tie-dyed shirt, but now I have to show you guys the dyeing process, which, which we'll probably do because I do want to paint some, uh, paint some fabric, but that's not on my list this month. I don't have a list, but you know what I mean. Like I'm not feeling it right now because it seems like a lot of effort. I have to dye some I did just pick up some dyes because oh, I'm trying to plug in the heat gun and I don't know it doesn't want to uh, I need to do some paper and I cannot figure it out okay sorry guys it's gonna be loud turn down your volume are we really 41 minutes in Lordy That should go quick. I'm avoiding my paint over here because I'm going to pick that up with something else. Okay. Oh, that was still wet. Oh, did you see that bubble? Did you see that? No, oh, all you can see is the heat gun, huh? I'm using this one instead of the big one because I would have definitely burnt this page by now. I'm afraid I'll burn the mat underneath. I don't know if it's meant for uh, heating or not. I need to read the instructions, but as per usual, I have not. I mean, I read some instructions, but, you know. Let's see. Let's see if that's close enough. There's the off button. Oh, it's still awfully wet. Okay, hang on. Hang on, guys. I think that's still too wet to get a good result. If I wasn't going to try to pull it up, it would be good. But because I want to pull it off there, if we're going to pull it off in this video... It's got to be a bit drier than that. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. I'm trying so hard not to burn it, which I have a really bad habit of doing. Dry, dry. So don't let people fool you. It takes longer than you think to do this stuff. I know everybody edits, so it looks like it's fast. It's not fast. I mean, I work slower than the average, I know, because you know, I'm medicated, frankly. I'm medications that make me work like a sloth, but... All right, so, now, here's the part. I have no idea. This is where it's still wet, but this is where it could all go south. So, this is where everything we just did could be for nothing, you guys. So we need this to come off here. First, I need should probably pick up that paint, but I'm going to try to leave it there for a minute because I'm hoping to move it to the side and grab it in a second here. Okay, see? So I bent that, and it released the side. Did you see that? Probably not, huh? So I just bent it over, and it released the side. So all I'm doing is just peeling it back a little bit so... Where do we like, I really want to get this little car, so. <laughs> but I also got to make sure, well, this is small enough we can just do the whole thing because I want to make sure that I'm not going to compromise my, my wingspan. Oh, it's barely going to fit too, isn't it? 
Oh, you know what? We can put it on an angle if we need to. Mm -hmm -hmm. Not that way, for sure. Okay, that, that covers to there. Does this cover on this side? I believe it did, didn't it? Okay. So, where's my little tool? Under the book? No. Of course. There it is. So, this would be much better, and we would have better results, undoubtedly, if I left it too dry. So, this might go bad because, can you see the glue still moving? Oh, I just lifted the paper. Did you see that? Sure did. Ripped the paper because it's still wet. So what I'm going to do here, in just a second, I'm going to burnish this down. And then I'm probably going to flip it and try to dry it again on the other side. Because it is definitely, definitely not dry enough to do this. If not, we're going to have to just leave our butterfly and come back to it. Because it is not dry enough. I will never get this off here. There's no way it's going to come off. Not this wet, which is a bugger, I know, and I'm sorry. If Sam Man was home from school, I would have him dry it for me while I went on to other things. Ah, oh, see, but I thought that one through. You can see what our butterfly is going to look like, though, can't you? Yeah, it's going to be a cool butterfly. Well, if we can get it off, it's going to be a cool butterfly. So the idea is sound. Oh, look at all that yummy stuff coming off. Where are my... I'm going to let that rust for a minute while I find my little unfinished... Um, Hardest trading cards, which are in this pile over here. For times like this. So, see that stuff coming off the edge right there? Yeah. I don't, I don't want the white, just the, just this goodness here. Okay. That's what happens with that. This is why my husband thinks all my work looks like a mental patient did the backgrounds. Yep. Yeah, I know. He means it with love. Don't worry. He said so. <laughs> I don't mind. So, I just need to... Yeah. A couple of these so that we can swipe this. Oh, that was unexpected. Look at that yummy color, though. It's coming off nicely. You'll see these again in this uh in this book undoubtedly because they were part of it so now they will join the fun isn't that nice well they'll be backgrounds for something so i'm just setting them over well not that one i'm dropping so i will just set them oh get off our butterfly no no get off the butterfly contact paper so you know we just wipe it off as we go I'm, I'm letting it rust while I do this you guys plus saving my paint because I don't like to waste product normally I would show you something else with all this other yumminess here but we will let that go for today and that will be for another project on another day Oh, yeah. You just stick there. I'll glue you down later. Okay. 
move the trading cards to the side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is flip this. Yeah, so this is actually bigger. See, I have it in two. So I'm gonna flip it over for a minute and I'm gonna dry the back side. For a second, let's see if we can get it dry some more. I know, boring, sorry. Feel free to fast forward it. It should be done here in a minute, hopefully. I have no idea if this is safe for my mat. I truly hope it is. So my theory is, is that this is a non-stick mat, but it did just occur to me that it's not a silicone mat, it's just a non-stick mat. So, you know, I guess that doesn't mean things are going to just release from it like it would a silicone mat, which I did not really think about. This one, pink one, is a silicone mat. This one's just non-stick. But I'm still hoping it's going to come off in there. Because, so. oh, look at that. We can melt it from the side. Oh, that's cool. We're not melting, we're tearing. Well, we might do some melting, but. But that is not the prompt. The prompt is torn, not melted. Okay, so let's see. Shoot. See, it's still too wet. Ah! Dang it. Come on. Wet. It is not cooperating, guys. So. Yeah, it's still too wet. All right, I am going to. Oh, shoot. Get the big gun out. Or we're going to call this a failed experiment. Well, it's not really failed because we know it'll work, but. Well, we don't know it'll work. Now I gotta really move my hands because this one will burn me. Because this is like the industrial strength one you use in your garage. See, it's already burning it. Yikes, yikes. Don't burn my paper. Just try it. Uh, ah, don't burn it. Ah, crap. Crap. <laughs> it's just this. All right, I'm off the board, I know. Oh, it's melting. It's melting, it's melting. Okay, this might not work, guys. Fucker. Look at that, it's melting. Although, if it would melt it with it coming off, oh, don't melt my mat, though. If you would melt the color off, I wouldn't be mad at you. All right. So, you should be sticking. Why aren't you sticking? I mean, you are, but you're sticking to a freaking mat. So, as far as experiments go, you guys, this one's giving me problems. I need... Hang on, we're not giving up yet. Because all we have to do is manage to get it to stay there for a minute. All I have to manage to do is flip it. If I can flip it, because it's wet is the problem. If I had just let it sit here to dry fully on its own, this would be working great. So don't think you can't do it, guys, because you can. You just got to let it dry like a normal person would instead of being impatient like Patty is. Ha! Look at that. Okay. Now that it's there. Okay, there's still part here. But now that it's there, smooth it back out again. Now. Yeah, 
You know it's coming, don't you? I have to dry it again, guys. Because this part is very wet. And torn. Look at that. It's torn. Yeah. Yep. Torn. Oh, did I unplug this one? I did. To plug the big one on. All right. Shoot. All right. Well, we'll use this one on low. Come on, you're wasting time. So obviously, we're going to have to do a part two, guys, because I can't get it done in under an hour. Not that I can't let the video go more than an hour. I guess I could. I just didn't want to. So I feel like if I break it into two videos, then you guys can stop and start. Come back to part two if you want to. Though... To be fair, you could even if it's a two-hour video, I guess, but I really wanted to keep them to a half an hour, but I just can't seem to get a wiggle on. Maybe I'm just being too complicated. I don't know. I guess I should have experimented ahead of time, but then that takes the funness out of it, doesn't it? I mean, then I would have already known whether or not it works, and then... That's not as fun for you guys. Look at that. Okay. Look at all that yummy texture. All right. So I am going to stop us here and then I'm going to cut this out because you guys don't need to see me fussy cut it. And then I'll be right back and we will start again and we will finish it up. Okay. So this is where we're at. Still a little bit damp on the back, but that's okay. I might actually take a blow dryer to it after I fussy cut it, if it needs it. But by the time I'm done fussy cutting, it'll probably be good to go. Okay, so I'll be right back. So, um, all right. Oh, I warped my mat. Under here is my cutting mat. Oh, bugger, I hope that, oh, I hope it evens back out. Shoot. Okay, note to self, don't do that again. All right, okay, I'll be right back. Love you guys, bye.